It's complicated. Uncomplicate it then. I like you. I like you a lot. And I think you like me too. You do send a lot of mixed messages. I can't. You can't. I can't let myself be vulnerable anymore. Well, dramatic much. <laughs> Idiot. I don't know what arsehole you had to deal with before, but I'm not like that. How can I be sure? How can I be sure you won't just take off, as you're about to do? Or get bored of me. Are you about to tell me that's why they call it a leap of faith? No. I was about to say, how about a coffee, to begin with? Coffee sounds great. When did this arrive? I don't know. When did this letter arrive? I think those were delivered at the student accommodation. Judith brought them over yesterday. What's wrong? It's from Andrew. He wrote it a week ago. He sent you a letter? It's a suicide note. It describes exactly how he was going to do it. He wanted me to stop him. I should have been there for him. I knew he wasn't well. Uh, Laura, I have this great idea to improve productivity. Oh, yeah? Is it that paid overtime we've been asking you for? <laughs> uh, no, you, you know Lena doesn't like that. So basically, we get here very early in the morning when the sun's just coming up, get to the roof and do some exercises. Exercises? Yeah, like, like star jumps and stuff. You want us to come here at seven in the morning, unpaid, to go up on the roof and do star jumps? Yeah. What do you think? Well, some people might say you're out of touch. Some might even call you a moron, but... What about those with children? Uh, what about them? Many people drop their children off on the way to work. They can't do that at half six in the morning. They can't? Nope. 